Assalamu alaikum, hello everyone, and welcome to another very exciting tutorial about how to make a very cool game in Game Maker Studio. So, today we're gonna just go and proceed. Let's see where we got the last time. Well, you see, we have the walls and the bouncer itself, but basically, it's not doing anything. So, we are going to address that. So, uh, open the project and we'll open the object ball and within that we'll go and uh, add an event, it will be a create event and in the create event we'll have um, let's say two variables, first one will be start which equals to true because we are starting and the second one will be uh, we can use a uh, one letter variable but let's let's not use a one letter variable let's say game uh, loaded okay equals false because the game is not loaded obviously and we will use an alarm so we say alarm uh, 0 equals to let's say 10 frames that's enough now what are these variables first one is basically saying that we just started the game so once the game starts it's true but later on we'll disable that because the game has already started and the other one is game loaded now what what is the usage of this one the usage of this one is once you enter this room for instance uh, for instance we create another room okay and that one will be before this room like room start or room, whatever room it is when you click on, on, on any button to, to enter this room okay, then you release the left button of your mouse it will detect the, uh, the game uh, will detect that uh, mouse release and, uh, and it, will, it will apply something on, on, this, uh, on this object and I don't want that to happen now this might sound confusing but you will see what I'm talking about now let's go and create the alarm and say that game sorry game loaded equals true great okay now uh, we will have a mouse global uh, let me show you no, not this event, change it. We will have a mouse global left press or released. Let's say pressed, okay? Now you see, th th this is why I'm saying, because once you enter that room, I would, I would check and see if you if you pressed any key and will directly run, uh, execute the script. So th we don't want this to happen. That's why we, we were using the game loaded. So we would say if game loaded and don't mistype this. Okay. Good. If game loaded, then run this script. And that would be we'll use a gravity. And so we'll say gravity equals, let's say, 0.7. 75 okay and vertical speed equals to negative 13 because we are jumping so it will be in, in uh, a minus and what else ah the stop thing so we'll say if start Okay, so if the game is started, then horizontal speed equals to 5, great, and start equals to false, start equals false, great, that's all what we need for the bouncer to work. Now, if I go and run the game, which should bounce basically, but there is no collision, that's bad, we'll address that, so if you, yeah, bounces, it's great. 
And now let's go and uh, do the collision thing. And <clears throat> well, the thing is, uh, I'm using. Uh, uh, you, you remember that the spike is a, uh, a child of the object wall. Well, that's not that's not important now. Let's just go and uh, use a collision uh, event, and let's go and do it with the wall. So in here, we'll say, um, obviously, uh, we want to remove the object from, from its place. So we'll say x plus equals uh, negative horizontal speed. So that will, will remove, will move the object uh, from, uh, far from the wall and the other script will be horizontal speed equals negative horizontal speed so whatever uh, if we have a speed of 5 it will become negative 5 if we have a speed of negative 5 it, it will be negative negative 5 which means 5 and what else well and now what we want is we want to remove the wall. We want the wall to disappear. So for that I will use a code. Okay. So we will just go and execute a code. And let's call it, for instance, uh, code C wall. Okay. But we don't have the code yet. So just just go and create the code, the script. I mean and call it seawall okay within seawall uh, we'll write this mm, hold on but before that uh, let's define a variable in object wall and that will be side so side equals negative one okay and later we'll, we will add a comment and say negative negative one uh, equals left left okay and one equals right okay great that's great um so side equals negative one and if it's it's not uh, uh, if it's on the opposite side, we'll just say side equals 1. That was easy. And let's just go and copy the comments and put it here. It's good. Now, uh, we all set. So let's come here and say if x is bigger than uh, 270, Okay, then we open a bracket and we do else and just like that and say side equals uh, 1 and we'll just paste that again and let me just copy this and paste it here and we will say negative 1 and that's all. Next, we'll say uh, remove remove the walls. So say with uh, object wall. Okay. Now for now, uh, we are using uh, uh, the object wall. Remember that the spark is a child of the wall. We will change that right now. We will change that. Okay, so just bear with me. We'll say, uh, okay, we'll say uh, if side equals side. So if the side of the wall equals the side of the ball, run this code, which is horizontal speed equals two. Uh, side times 4 now you might be wondering what is that uh, well we said if it's uh, if it's the right so it will be moving towards the right so 4 times 1 
is full, so it will be moving towards, uh, to the right. And if it's on the left, uh, so the side will be negative 1, and negative 1 times 4 is minus 4, so it will be moving to the, uh, the left. That's uh, good, and later on we will run... Uh, we need an alarm to destroy the wall, so say alarm um, 1, because we used the 0 equals to 9. That's, that will do. Okay, okay. Come to the wall, we use an alarm, alarm 1, and it will basically just destroy the the object. And now let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so if we jump, basically the oh, both of them disappeared. It's back. Let's see where's the oh, okay. The side is confusing that side. So let me do this. Let's come to the optimizer and use a global variable. So we say global variable which is a uh, side okay that's good and we don't need to define that that's okay and in here we executed the code so that's that's fine here I'll just change this from side to let's say s just the letter s referring to side. So if we come here and use the letter S and here we say S for side okay and here we just remove this and I don't think that we need this code right here we need just to move this down here and say S horizontal speed equals uh, S times for, um, I guess it will be negative s times 4. Yeah, that's good. And we use the next alarm. And let me just check if to see if things are working. So that's great. That's great. Okay, uh, everything seems to be working. Uh, that's all for this episode. I will see you in the next one. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope you have learned something today. I'm quite sure that you have learned something today. Please like the video. I appreciate that. Please subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. And you guys, have a great day.